currently have decorations scattered all throughout the house. Let me turn on this light real quick. All throughout the house, over here, I have storage boxes full of Christmas decorations. We have some ornaments over here. This one on the bottom is going to be for this tree. And then that one will be the real Christmas tree that we get this year. But we probably won't get it for a couple more weeks when they start putting out the Christmas trees. We have decorations in here. I think this is actually a lot of the stockings and like our stocking tags. And then down here is all the fragile decorations, glass, anything that will break. And then this one is the not so fragile decorations. A lot of the, oops, a lot of the trees and figurines are in here. Um, I did get two bows from Target to go on top of the Christmas tree because I wasn't sure which one, because I am gonna also get some black ornaments to go on this tree. So I was thinking maybe put this on the top of that one and this one on the other one. We'll see, I haven't decided yet. And then I did get a couple pillow covers, these white, fake fur pillow covers, they are so soft. I got two of those. That is a 20 by 20 size, and I'm kind of kicking myself. I wish I would have gotten an 18 by 18, because usually what I do is I get the 20 by 20 pillows and then the 18 by 18 covers, so it's not loose, it's very fitted. So we'll see how those look. And then over here, I have a couple things that I got from Target this year. I got a new table lamp for our entryway table, the one that was here before I gave to Aria. I did get a new tray for all of our keys and everything. It's a little bit smaller than this one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one yet, but I just feel like this one takes up so much space. And this one, I think, will look better right there. I got this new candle holder from Target as well and the small little candle that I put in there. And then I did get some garland for this mirror. This mirror is also new. If you guys watched our fireplace makeover video, if you haven't, definitely go check it out. I'll leave that link down below. We originally took that mirror that was in here to go above the fireplace. It broke while we were trying to figure out where to put it. Regardless, this one is the new mirror for the entryway. I got this on Amazon and you guys know I will link everything that I can and especially like the newer things that I bought. Some of the stuff you can't find anymore because I've had it for years. But the new stuff and the stuff that I got from Amazon, I will definitely link all down below for you guys. I did get a couple stems as well. I thought these were really, really pretty. I like the neutral colors and I thought that that might look good in here. I thought that maybe this, I thought maybe this would look good in here. I might put a smaller vase because I just realized that will probably not be enough. And I don't think there's anything else. I think it's just garland. Yeah, just garland. Um, I did get this new basket. This was in the kids section. So I'm thinking I might put some pillows in there. We got two more boxes over here. I think this is garland and lights. It looks like it is. We also have a huge tub in the garage just full of Christmas lights. And then we have some more garland down here. And then I just have these random decorations that I have not put away yet. I got these about two weeks ago. So I wasn't decorating yet. I wasn't sure where to put it. So it's just been hanging out on the shelf. We did put our twinkly Christmas tree up. Somehow the elf made its way out and it's on top of the tree. And I did get a new tree skirt, you guys. I'm also gonna be vacuuming, cleaning a little bit part of the couch. So that's why that's out. But I did get this new tree skirt, this like wicker, whoops, wicker tree skirt, I think that's what it's called, from Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. I saw one from Target that I wanted. It was $100, you guys, 100. I don't even think I spent more than $50 on this one. It comes in four different pieces, so it's very easy to put on. You just like slip it through these hooks. And I can't remember what size I got. I think they had two different sizes. I think, I got, I made sure I got the right size because this is a nine foot tree and I wanted to make sure that it was big enough. So I just need to wrap it around underneath there. First thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to light some candles. I feel like lighting a candle and putting on some Christmas music definitely gets me in the mood for decorating. I have my wallflowers down there. I did get a couple candles. This one is spiced apple toddy, but this one is my favorite favorite, favorite scent, the fresh balsam. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and burn that. And some new hand soap for the bathroom. So I think I am ready, you guys. I am ready to start decorating. We do have some orders out right now that we need to package up for Simply Edge. So I'm actually probably gonna start in the either the entryway or the living room first. Cause as you guys can see, I am not ready to decorate the dining room right now. <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm gonna work in the areas that Currently, there's no mess, and I also have to get my pillows out, you guys, from underneath the stairs, 
So it's definitely gonna be a full day of decorating, but I am so excited. Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. You guys, it has been a while since I have put up a new video. And that's because if you guys didn't know, on my main channel, I have been vlogging or making videos, making videos, what am I saying? Filming every single day, by the way, how cute is this picture of the Santa with the kids last year? <laughs> like I was saying, I've been making videos every day for almost a month, but I've been still trying to at least upload once a week on here. So I apologize that it has been a little bit later. I was trying to get up this video sooner, but you guys, it took me a whole month to put all these decorations up <laughs> between being sick and then there was Thanksgiving and just like the hectic craziness of our schedule. It just took a really long time, but you guys, I made it and I made it before December. So at least I'll be able to sit back and relax and enjoy all my hard work <laughs> for the next month or so. Let me know when you guys take down your decorations. Do you take them down right after Christmas or do you wait until the new year? But anyways, you guys know I love a good command hook, command strips. You guys, I use them for literally everything, everything. So I had like the most <laughs> hard time. I feel like with this garland, I feel like our mantle is so long, nothing really fits it. Like no garland fits it, but that's the best way that I can secure it so that I can kind of try to blend it in a little bit as I put some command hooks on there. And I actually ended up putting another garland on there. You guys will see that in a little bit because if you know it, you guys know me. I change my mind a lot so I'll put something up and then I'll change it like for example those candlesticks I ended up changing them to red instead of white so I'm like forever moving things around so that's probably why it's taking me so long to get this up um, but now I'm just adding some lights to my garland and I also had the hardest time with that garland um, I'm a little envious of people that can make their garland look flawless on their mantle. I just, I, I can't, maybe I'm just right buying the wrong garland. <laughs> um, but I'm just rearranging the fireplace. I ended up putting that ba new basket instead of pillows. I put the blankets in there, added that flocked tree that I've had for a few years now, and then also a lantern. Also, I'm doing this voiceover in the morning and I feel like my voice sounds so raspy in this voiceover, but I am trying to like take my time and not rush through it like I usually am. So like this is more of a relaxing decorate with me. Um, but the next thing that we're working on is the entryway. I, I first needed Frank to hang up our new mirror. You guys, I found this on Amazon. It was pretty cheap or I shouldn't say cheap. It was pretty inexpensive and it came in perfect condition. Um, so what I ended up doing, of course, you guys got to gotta use my command I just need a sponsorship by them already <laughs> because I use them like I said for everything but I use two hooks at the top to kind of wrap around the top of the arch in the mirror and then the garland actually ended up being a little too long so I just had Frank take his little clippers clip it off and I think that it actually turned out really cute had Frank make us some new stocking tags um, these are our new ones on our website simplyedge.com I <laughs> I wasn't thinking last year I was supposed to bubble wrap them before putting them back in the storage box so a couple of them broke so I said hey can you just make us some of the new ones that we offer now and he made those for me so um, I'll show you guys how those turned out towards the end when I hang them up on our stockings but I took that same garland I had two of them and I put it on the other mirror that is in our dining room and again just using those command hooks to secure it that's all I did fluffed it out and just kind of hugged it around the mirror
So I found this little four pack of Christmas wreaths on Amazon and I thought that they would be perfect on our kitchen cabinets. I see people doing this all the time on Pinterest, Instagram, and I don't know why I have not done it yet. So I'm glad that I was able to find these cute little wreaths. I just, again, use command hooks and I ended up just putting it on the glass cabinets. And you guys, if you've not seen our new fireplace project, definitely go check it out. I think it's our last video or it might be the one before that. I can't remember. Um, but I was so excited to decorate our mantle because I don't really do anything in our room like decoration wise. So now that we have this new fireplace and mantle and everything, I was really, really excited to add a few Christmas decorations. So I just added some trees, a little wreath, a little Mary garland again had the hardest time <laughs> trying to arrange that garland and then also some candlesticks Another thing that I decided to do different this year was how I was going to decorate our dining room table. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I was like, okay, we're going to switch things up. I'm going to try something totally different. So I found these gold candlesticks, um, or what are they actually called? Candle holders? Yeah, candle holders on Amazon. I bought a pack of three, well, three packs of three, and they actually came in different colors. There was like a rose gold and I think a silver. You guys know I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, but I decided to just put a whole bunch of candles down our dining room table because you guys know our dining room table is very long and actually you guys see I'm adding the placemats but I ended up adding a runner as well so you guys will see that towards the end the b-roll at the end is how everything turned out because again I rearrange everything um, but I just added some white candlesticks on there and I'm almost tempted you guys to still get some kind of little garland to go down the middle and kind of like do it some I don't know what I'm doing I'm gonna do with that yet but you guys will see at the end how it turned out and you have to let me know what you guys think All right, so now moving on to our front porch. I actually kind of just went with the same idea that I went with last year. I didn't really change that much up, maybe a little bit, but I added this garland. I wish I would have like, angled my camera just a little bit up so you guys can see, um, but I just added this garland around the top. It actually comes in two different pieces, so I actually already have nails up there that I just like hook the garland on, and then I have nails on the far right and left side so I just kind of draped it onto there and then added the lights on there as well added that cute little bow this wreath you guys I've had this wreath for the longest time and I just feel like it's so classic and I use it every single year I love it I'm just adding this rug over our um, doormat I was trying to think of the name <laughs> doormat uh, I love the look of the layering of the rugs I got actually those two real mini Christmas trees from Lowe's. Frank picked them up for me and I thought they would be perfect for decorating the front porch. I had another lantern and then that little Christmas tree you guys see, I actually flocked that myself last year. And then I have had these like little decorative picks for the longest time, I've never used them. So to switch things up and to bring out a little bit more red from the bow, I am just adding them in the wreath. And I think that you can find them 
like those kind of picks anywhere um, I think I got them at Target maybe Hobby Lobby will have them but I'm just decorating the wreath and then you guys I didn't really decorate the shelves the past year because I've always just had a whole bunch of pictures up there which recently I've taken them down I just have a few family pictures because I really enjoy just adding more decorations to the shelves so I just added a whole bunch of trees that I've had and decorations that I've just collected over the years um, and then here you guys see we'll see how this turned out can you just imagine like Christmas dinner and just well with kids <laughs> Never mind. It just makes a good hosting table is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I, I don't know. I love how it turned out. It just all the candles. But yeah, with kids, you guys, <laughs> it's not really ideal. It's just for looks. Um, but here, you guys, we are towards the end of the video and how all the decorations turned out. Guys, I, if you can't tell, I'm just obsessed with our fireplace <laughs> and how it turned out. And the fact that I could decorate it for Christmas now, it just makes it feel so cozy. I did add a couple extra things to our room, like this Christmas tree pillow and also this flocked Christmas tree candle. Like I said, I don't really decorate that much in the bedrooms. The kids actually have like their own little mini trees in their bedrooms and that's it. But primarily it, downstairs is where I decorate. And then here is how the entryway turned out. I ended up adding some fairy lights to that garland. And you guys, I've had this vase forever but I just love it so much. I put it there every single year and I just change out the stems. Look how gorgeous, by the way, that candle holder is. I got that from Target. I'll try to find the link for that. Um, but yeah, I just think adding the fairy lights just added a little extra element to it. <laughs> and then you guys can see in the back, we're still in the process of decorating our real Christmas tree. I won't be able to show you guys that. I did not get that done in time, um, but I ended up adding some extra Christmas pillows at the bottom in our wired basket, and I think it turned out really cute, and I put a little mistletoe on our light up there. Um, moving on to the bathroom, another place I don't really go crazy with. I just add a few things, um, like I added a new wallflower plug-in, added a little decoration, and some Christmas soap, but that's pretty much all I did. <laughs> I don't go too crazy because obviously we're not spending a lot of time in the bathroom. Um, but now moving on to the living room. Here is my favorite part of the house where I decorate honestly the most. Um, but you guys, I decided this year to add some black ornaments to our Christmas tree to kind of accent the fireplace already or to bring it out, I should say, a little bit more. Um, here's an overall view of our downstairs, the dining room, kitchen, living room. Um, but I am really loving and digging the black ornaments I just try to tie in everything because there is some black in the pillows on the couch like I said the fireplace even the stockings which is kind of you guys I'm feeling more of the darker colors what is what is happening with me I used to only love white and neutrals but I am digging darker colors now I'm a changed woman, I guess. I also changed the stockings. I had them on the right side of the fireplace, but it just was not ideal because we have seven of them. So I just ended up spreading them all across the mantle. You guys can see how our new Christmas tags turned out. So if you guys need to get some Christmas tags, definitely check out our website, simplyedge.com. A little plug-in, a little promo. And then here's all the different Christmas decorations that I've collected over the years and how I decorate the shelves. And then again, another look. Oh, guys, I told you I put a runner down in the middle. I just feel like it looks more cozy that way. It just kind of looked a little too plain before. Um, so I, again, I won't be lighting them all the time, but it's just nice for like maybe Christmas dinner, just for decorations, just for looks. And then I do have like this little console table that um, we keep our wine on. And I just added our advent calendar or countdown calendar, a few trees. I did decorate the kitchen a little bit with a wreath and I added some hand towels and also the wreaths that I decorated our cabinets with. I think they turned out really, really cute. And I think the four was perfect. Um, and it just kind of tied everything else in as well. Um, and then here is an overview of the outside, which you guys kind of already saw as I was decorating. Um, but that is getting towards the end of this decorating video. So I'm putting this up kind of late because a lot of people have already decorated. 
but if you haven't yet or maybe give you ideas for next year hopefully I was able to give you guys some ideas or inspiration and again I will try my best to link everything that I can down below for you guys hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe do everything all of the above thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video bye guys